Hello, 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 teacher. Welcome to another video. This one is going to be very important. Uh, but first of all, I will start with a story, the story of myself and why public speaking helped me so much with so many things. Uh, I think like my ego thought that I, I could handle it, but actually I did not. So it happened to me two things that uh, really, really show me that uh, I really need to improve my public speaking skills. So the first story is it was my first uh uh, class my group class so I didn't expect that but uh, I start to to teach a group class on on Duolingo and uh, I have like 10 people to teach at the same time so it was just on zoom online and uh, I thought I got this because I've been a teacher for a long time I'm quite confident and uh, I, I start to feel the stress a little bit before and I try to realize oh there is 10 people they're gonna look at me I have to talk for an hour or two and actually, I was so nervous, and I said, "Oh my God, it's a wow! It's a difficult challenge." So that was the first thing. And uh, after one of my good friend asked me to to do the ceremony for his wedding, and I said, oh, "Okay, sure, no problem, I can do it." But uh, after he, he he asked me like maybe two three months in advance, and I realized that uh, it was a lot of pressure. So I said, "Oh, how many people at the wedding?" Say, "Oh, about hundred, hundred people." So uh, with the microphone talking in front of everybody. And I, now I realized that I have work to do. And I was really, 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 really nervous. I even could not sleep uh, because of that. Uh, so now I'm just telling what happened to me. It could happen to you. Maybe you're confident. Maybe you're used to it. Maybe you're not. I don't know. But for me, so I talk about that problem. We know my, my student, she it told me exactly the same thing. She had the same nervousness around this public speaking uh, things and she said oh she took a course so she recommended me that course I didn't buy it but I, I just my own research and I tried to to practice everything uh, so I prepared my speech I did try like a very a lot of things and um, that was a bit complicated but I make it so now from everything that I've learned I'm gonna give you like my five top tips uh, that how public speaking can really, really help you with online teaching, okay? So let's go. Engaging student. Also, this is very important. It's, it's just common sense, but please uh, bear with me. Uh, you will see how much it is important because uh, when you have a good public spe speaking skills can help teacher capture and maintain student attention. Teachers who are confident, articulate, and dynamic can make the online learning experience more engaging and uh, uh, and interactive for students, which is brilliant. It's very, very important. Uh, now, of course, uh, it's like like maybe the first lesson you 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 thought. I'm sure you were a bit nervous. Everybody, for me, my first lesson, my second lesson, and after it get better. I mean, with like a, a public speaking is the same thing. More you do it, more it become easier, right? Uh, so I think it's very, very important. So why also like clear communication? I think when you do like a, a public speaking, it really helps like, to communicate better, like clearly and concisely. Uh, so as the teachers, we can articulate their thought well, can help students understand complex topic and clarify any doubts may have. And you know, when you talk to someone that talk to you with confidence, it's a game changer, right? Yeah, you, you tend to listen more which is very important. Number three, building trust. Uh, as I say, effective public speaking skills can help teachers build trust and credibility with their students. When teachers can present themselves confidently and persuasively, students are more likely to trust their expertise and authority. That's what I just said. Okay, number four, and link questions. This one is a big one uh, because I, I made so many, many videos about that, but sometimes the, the, the student asks you a question and you don't know the answer. So now if you panic, uh, it's meaning you're not confident and you may lose the student. So for me, it happened to me many times where I didn't know the answer. So you know what? I don't know. Uh, this is a great question. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out the answer for you. And I will make a video. I will send to you and uh, you will know everything about that after. But you said every question the student say, okay, cool. Thank you very much. And you do it after you make your research, you record yourself or, or you write a big message to explain the thing. Is that's it. You're done, but you say, oh, uh, 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 this is the end, okay? So please, very, very important when you have a good skill, when you're confident, you can handle questions easier. 
So let's move on to the last one, like creating a positive classroom environment. Teachers who are skilled at public speaking can create a positive and supportive learning environment for the student. Makes sense. When teachers are enthusiastic and passionate about their subject, it can inspire students to engage with the material and develop a love for learning. Uh, this one is very true. And it's probably my favorite one. That's really what I do myself. Is That's what I recommend you to do. Uh, I don't know. It's probably only me. I never ask anyone. But for me, uh, I love to talk to people that, who are passionate. Even they, they talk about something that I have no passion about. I don't mind. But when they, they talk with passion, you know, you want to know more. It's like, wow. Uh, you can see sparkle in the eyes. They're very happy. They know their things. And that's a beautiful thing. So I love like uh, passionate people. It's beautiful things in this world. So if you can be that passionate about what you're teaching, I promise you, yeah, you will never have really to work anymore because you're just uh, passionate about what you do. Uh, I can't say that I'm passionate about my language, but uh, sometimes I, I realize that how oh, cool it is, how hard it is, and it's making me a bit passionate because it's challenging and I'm passionate about the challenge more than the language itself. But uh, it's making it myself like a, have a real fun. And I, la I love to bond with my student, which is very important. And then uh, my classroom environment is like very positive and nice. Um, as I say, my mentor all the time, I say, if a student tell himself, oh, I have a class with William, this is over. So you want them to have fun. And sometimes when they don't feel like it, just like take it easy, take it slow, uh, reinsure them, like uh, please them, praise them. It's important. You have to do that. That's very important. So that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, share, do what you want with the video. Uh, good luck with your public speaking. And I'll see you in the next video. I wish you to have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.